All right, y'all. So we are back for another episode of the Kitty Box. We hope that you have had a great week so far. Um, how was y'all's week? Oh, my week's been good so far. I've uh, tried to keep busy. I had a really busy weekend. Um, this week, I don't have much planned this week, but I have been in the gym like crazy. And like I was telling you guys earlier, I went to the gym twice yesterday. I really thought I was that bitch. And mm. I'm actually paying for it today. <laughs> Just eating healthier, drinking healthier, not drinking alcohol, by the way. Um, really? A little, a little iced coffee. Yeah, it's been a few weeks since I've had mm. a wine or anything. As I sip my Stella Rosa. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> Cheers. I'm doing mm. a little iced coffee here with some almond milk creamer. That's cute. Um, yeah. yeah. That's what's up. But, yes. How about you, Wabi? Just same old shit, different day. Just busy, working, trying to get, handle business, honey. That's really it. My week was cool. Um, I, like you, Jace, have been in the gym relentlessly. I haven't been going twice a day, but I go five days a week. And, um, just, uh, you know, just for a while, you know, and then I'm going to, you know, slack it up a little bit. But for the time being, I have the time. I can, you know, manage it into my schedule and I make sure that I get adequate rest as well, because that's important. That's really important. Um, we've all complained of soreness and, you know, overextending our muscles. So you have to give those muscles time to retract and heal. And I learned between sets, you're supposed to take like two to four minutes. So really, yeah. if y'all are on machines or doing sets or anything, y'all should really be doing one a song. Mm-hmm. You know, it don't really, you know, press the issue. I know sometimes I take a pre-workout or I, I get the like the drinks with the caffeine in it. And before you know it, I didn't hit like three, four sets right. in a song. And I'm like, you're doing too much. And even though you can handle it, your muscle isn't really getting the proper, you know, workout because before it get retracting, give you strength for the next set, you already pushing through. So, I'm learning. I sound like a fitness geek now. Wow. No, you don't want to ever overextend no. yourself in the gym because you want to be able to get like a full body type of workout. So, if you start off going crazy, you're mm-hmm. probably not going to be there that long. You know, you just yeah. want to take your time, work it slowly. Hello, God. Yeah. But the fact that I know so much about it now is just crazy because I, this, this time last year, I didn't even have a gym membership, and now I know what to eat and how to, you know, carry myself. So this is, you know, it's been a, a test and a, a true um, example of my consistency and discipline. Because I go on days I don't want to go. I go when I don't feel like it. And I keep, you know, increasing. I don't just keep it in the safe area. I, I, I think the saying is fit to failure. You're supposed mm-hmm. to go until you can't go anymore, you know, and I do that. And... I'm si- I'm finally starting to see some results after a year, but you know that just goes to show you for anybody out there that's on your fitness journey, if you don't see a result or anything like that within the first three to six months, even nine months, it's okay. Keep going. Mm-hmm. Don't go for instant results. Just go because you want to be a better you. Well, hey. I'm just trying to get ready for the summer because I'm about to be for the streets. So. <laughs> that's what I- <laughs> That's, that's why I'm going. That's, that's why. my main focus. That is exactly girl, why your answer is in the gym twice a day. Girl. <laughs> <laughs> no, girl. Like, I know I'd be saying that, but I'm really about to be for the streets this summer. And it's no shame. Shall well, I, I mean, you're going to have a body, so if you got it flaunting, because you know <laughs> the boys want it. Prepare for Oh, here we go. I'm trying to go Prepare back into because I'm the boys Prepare. be calling me daddy and all that shit. And I'm like, I'm not trying to be that. You know what I mean? I need to mm. get more into more. I don't want. I'm not. I'm not trying to be a twink or anything like that. But I need to be more in a. a you know, I'm not trying to give dad teeth. You know. But anyway, what are we talking about tonight? Because I mean, but I mean, even before we get into the topic, <laughs> that just sparks a thought. Like, I don't know. Does that? Why does that do something to us? I mean, what? we are men. So if a man be like, "Hey, daddy. Hey, papi." We be like, uh, uh-uh, like, uh, uh-uh, like, you got something wrong with that. So, I think it I makes think, me why feel, we feel that way? old. I think it makes me feel old, and it also makes me feel like I'm not in shape. Really? Yeah. Because nobody said you had a dad like daddy, God, but daddy is like that's what it gives. Daddy. That's what that's how I kind of interpret. They're it. not because I kind of do. Hold on, hold on. They're do not have kind of you... like a dad bod, like. 
they're not calling no. you dad. They're calling you daddy. And we all know yeah, that's right. the use of like, when you like, hello, bitch. Like, what's tea, dad, daddy? You know what I'm saying? Like, I can see if someone's like, hey, dad, how are you? And be like, I'll be offended by that too, bitch. But no, they're calling you daddy. Like, we say zaddy. Mm-hmm. Don't take that offense. That's a, that's a good thing. Well, I'm not offended. It's just, I mean, it's cute or whatever, but I'm attracting a different type of person, if you know what I mean. Okay. Versus I what you. I'm wanting. I, I feel you, yeah. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> uh, that, 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 okay. That's I was trying to say it. Okay. But, um, that's how we it. said it when we talked about the reality girls in a couple episodes ago. Women's, hmm. women's, women's. <laughs> okay. Where my girls at? When the fans are back, what are you feeling at? Huh. Girl talking got you all caught up. <laughs> Girl talking got you all caught up. <laughs> so, that was a perfect segue though to our topic because we are gonna talk about music madness. Like how women, um, specifically, you know, rap women, but R&B women could, you know, singers could fit in this, in this story as well. But what brought this to our attention was recently Lotto sat down with Big Boy and she was talking about her album and the features that she has. And she mentioned that one male artist in particular gave her a really hard time because she wasn't like flirting with him in the DMs or um, some might say she wouldn't sleep with him. And she was like, it was all, you know, I got the record clear, but it was just such a struggle because he wanted more than business. And on the Jasmine brand, for some reason, they posted that clip alongside Kodak Black's clip with the Breakfast Club of him saying like, if a girl want a feature, I should be able to bust her down. That's how he said it. And they were like, no, no, no. He said, well, why you want the song then? You know, he Whoa. he made it seem like the compensation for getting a Kodak Black feature was that he had to fuck you. And he went, he, he went public because Kodak Black is actually a feature on Lotto's album. He went public and said it wasn't him. Um, and we have the track listing with all of the men, so we're gonna run down and try to figure out who we think it is. But um, it just sparked you know, a conversation within us in the group chat because we were like, this isn't anything new under the sun. We've heard about this happening before, and I'm sure that it continues to happen. What are y'all thoughts about this? He, uh, OIB obviously has something to say. <laughs> Child, Church finger up. Homegirl's exact words were, they tried to drop their nuts on her. Yeah. So we don't have to use allegedly, we don't have to use none of those terms when we're talking about this. She plainly said he wanted to drunk, drop his nuts on her. First and foremost, this is a tale long as legends, child. We have heard this time and time and time again and it really is disturbing as fuck that a woman cannot walk in the industry without being propositioned for sex just to get her career propped up or move to the next level. We've seen it in the actor's world with bitches like Harvey Weinstein and those executives in, in the studios utilizing their power and influence to either give the girls a leg up in the industry or blackball them altogether from the industry. We have seen, especially when the girls try to stand up, Where's Uma Thurman, bitch? We haven't seen her since a Kill Bill moment, honey. Kill Bill, As right. soon as she spoke up and spoke out against Harvey Weinstein, child, she's no, her, her, her career is kaput. She's been done. Period. <laughs> All the girls that stand Love up, Holly Calkin had to run away to Patty, child, just to escape the horrors of the past. He said the girls was around here allegedly, I gotta use allegedly with this. He said the kids, the major studio execs were out here killing the girls and utilizing their skin and creating shoes out of them, bitch. Oh my God. There's all kinds of filth that dwells within the industry, but for, they're going back to the topic, but for a woman, especially a black female, it's already difficult enough for them in life period to walk this world, but to get into those male dominated spaces and only to what? And then let's say she went through with it. Now you've lost your respect for her as an artist, as a woman, and y'all gonna be selling them goddamn wolf tickets to everybody in your crew talking about some, yeah, I had her too. And that mm. goes to other conversations we talk about the respect of women. Once you get that up, girl, you done lost all your power, all your respect, your reputation is out the window, you'll forever be remembered that way. That's why I respect people like a Nikki or a Kim or a, well, child, Kim, 
love Kim. some of the girls. I love the girls because they they make these power moves and they speak up and they speak out. And I big ups to her for speaking her truth. Yeah. Cause fuck that. Yeah. I was really excited and happy for her that she was actually confident enough to even speak about that because most females wouldn't especially a new artist like Lotto. Well, she's not really new, but you know what I mean? She's just now becoming mainstream. Mm -hmm. And just to hear her tell her truth and tell her story about that, I, I thought that was really brave and, I, brave, and I think that we should give her kudos for that. Absolutely. Um, now, as far as who the fuck it is, I kind of get the vibe that it is his black, ugly, critter-looking, gremlin-looking ass. And I know we're not on that part yet, <laughs> but when I heard that, actually, I saw that clip from that Breakfast Club interview a little while ago, because he did it, I think, a couple of, like, a week or two ago. Um, and I saw a clip of that floating around, and I was like, that is just absolutely disgusting. And that mother, like, he couldn't touch me with the 10 foot ball. Okay. <laughs> so, I honestly do believe that it is that dude, and ugh. Can we talk about a cancellation? Unfortunately, we live in the world of the greatest misogyny, <laughs> like, and in the in the horrid, rampant, filthy ways of these toxic ass niggas, and in the world of hip hop, that is slightly more deemed respectable amongst the niggas. So, but unfortunately, you know, I, think, I don't I think, think he'll be canceled. But even if he was we haven't realized how to properly cancel somebody as a culture because when we cancel them, all we do is magnify them and make them viral. Yeah. How is that canceling somebody and saying, we're gonna turn the blind eye when the spotlight is on you, kid? Like, so, I don't know. I and he's an ignorant bitch like, anyway, so. Right. He survives off peanut butter jelly sandwiches and fucking sardines and crackers, girl. That man's been to prison more times than we can all count. So he can't even probably read a fucking Dr. Seuss book for crying out loud. Exactly. So he's going to get the pass because Hooked on Phonics works for him. <laughs> you feel me? Like, no one's um, going to care about a Kodak Black opinion, especially as it pertains to women. And we're just going to give him that. Not us, but society, period, is just going to give him that pass and just be like, his ignorance is bliss. I think the proper way to cancel someone and... Uh, I know it's a debate about cancel culture and shit, whether it's right or not, but I think the proper way to officially cancel somebody is to stop streaming their music, stop supporting exactly. them, unfollow exactly. them, don't comment on shit regarding them. Like, leave them completely the fuck alone, just like you would do any raggedy bitch that comes into your life, and you don't want to fuck with them anymore. What do you do? You cut the bitch off. Can I, it, let me it's ask that this simple. question, though. Is, yeah. But on the other side of that, though, is there a way to respect the music or the artist street of a person, but just cancel them as a person? Because I'm sorry, I still bump R. Mm -hmm. Kelly, bitch. Period. You know what? I'm going to answer this. And, and, and I've had conversations regarding R. Kelly and his music as well with other people. Um, if I don't like you as a person, I don't want anything to do with you. So I don't listen to R. I've never really been a huge R. Kelly fan anyway. There are some songs that I did like. But if I don't fuck with you as a person, I don't want to see or listen to anything you have to say or watch anything that you do. So what if Sade I, was a bitch? Well, she's not a bitch. <laughs> um, let's be clear. Um, but if she was, <laughs> would you stop listening to her music? No. That's not so you can Kelly separate Rice. them. So if you're a fan of someone, so you're not a fan of R. Kelly, so it's easy for you to discount. His... If she did, hold on, we're talking about okay, sexual yeah, harassment, sexual right. assault. You know, yeah, versus being a bitch. Like, but if she yeah. was doing that type of shit, I wouldn't fuck with her. Yeah, because I can I can fuck with Kelly Price music, but I don't fuck with Kelly Price. After seeing R. B. Demons L. A., I do not fuck with that bitch. So but she fine, can sing. Man? Yeah, yeah, they found her. Like, she went um, live and was like, I'm good, you know, my husband, you know, has me tucked away and everything is great. She getting booked for gigs now and everything. But that's another example. I didn't fuck with her after R&B Divas either. 
And I really haven't listened to much of her music or been interested in what she's doing. Well, she ain't really put out much sense, to be fair. You know, right, I have right, been right. listening to her old stuff, though. Like, It Will Rain. I hate to listening. say it. Once the girls go gospel, they lose it. I hate to say it. When If you aren't already starting off as gospel, it, first you went, it's going to be difficult for you to make that transition to R&B because we don't live in the 90s anymore. The girls still not... get booked. Kiki White still gets booked. Kelly Price still gets booked. Just not girl, for all major stages. And baby showers, girl. <laughs> It's a booking. It's a booking. Girl, that bitch said, I'm pregnant every year, all year, bitch. I'm not going to miss these Swedish meatballs and macaroni and cheese. I know that's right, girl. And the gift bags. It was all for all 13 of her children, bitch. But, but who's on this topic? list? Who's oh, on the list? Um, yeah, let's run see who's on the list. Let's run this list, honey. Let's run this list. Who is Because if it's not Kodak, it got it. Because it's that's just. If it really is him, it's so close to home because you know they keep resurfacing that clip of him on The Breakfast Club when they did that virtual interview. And it's just like, damn, buddy, if this is you, you just dug yourself a lot of fucking graves, but. Okay, let's, go, let's, go so, down the let's count them. We have 21 Savage, we have Lil Wayne, we have Childish Gambino, we have Lil Dark, a rapper named Nardo Wick, and Kodak Black. You know, Nardo Wick is too new. I take that back. I don't think he had anything to do. He's too new. He wouldn't mess up his career for that. I don't think Lil Wayne and Childish Gambino would do anything like that either. Absolutely not. Neither one of them. 21 Savage, I don't know much about, but yeah. he's always been pretty unproblematic. And, and plus, but, they stated hey, in the we don't know. interview that it wasn't him. So okay. let's, look at it. let's look at it like this. If, if it was you have a history... Girl. Cause I'm, I'm, cause I'm, that's how I'm trying to set it up. If you have a history yeah. of burglary, breaking into people's houses and breaking into people's cars, then you show up here, and yeah. two cars outside get broken into. He groped his mother. Bro, no, he didn't. He was dancing with his mother very sexually. No, he didn't. Did you see the video? No, but you can't be saying that, bro. Cause look, he gonna say Can that about. Please? Listen, shh. He gonna say that about Kodak, but then he didn't even see the video. Yeah, they said that that he did that with his mom, but when you I saw the video, the video, now you want to see if you saw it. I, I did see the video. You saw the video. Now you want to see. I saw the video. I actually. You may have. I don't remember, but you may have. Yeah, I but, saw the I video. Mean, they were at a party. She had this ugly ass black and gold dress on, and she looked very uncomfortable. Absent from that, though, like. Even if we were just sticking with the whole like sleeping for features, he did say he did that. Mm. So I mean, yeah. I just and he's, and he's sure. been known and he's been known to be a disrespectful ass motherfucker to women. Like I remember a while ago, he made comments about how he wanted to screw Young Ma, and she's an obvious studded out lesbian. <laughs> you know, and she was offended by that. He also made and and let's. And let's not forget the disrespect that he gave to Lauren London. Yeah, you're right. After and Nixie he was ta- trying to hook up with Lauren London right after Nipsey Hussle got assassinated. That was yeah. real. Like, he, so was he's real just been a, disre- a disrespectful ass bastard, you know, when it comes to women. But so. I mean, look at him though, like. <laughs> well, somebody's obviously having sex with that, f- look with at that him. Fool because Because that shit, didn't he just have a gender reveal or some shit? And he's having a uh, a little girl, and he was upset. Oh, I didn't, didn't hear about that. Yeah, he's yeah, he's the guy. He has a baby that's about to be born soon. You know what kills me? He just cut his hair recently, I think, and it's just you got all this money, but you look a hot fucking mess. Like, who's yeah. your barber, bitch? Fire that bitch, kill that bitch, bury that bitch. Bye, bitch. And it's it might be wise to invest in some Rosetta Stone, <laughs> the English the English version, because every. Every fucking interview, every fucking time I hear him speak, I don't understand a word that he says. <laughs> oh no! Anyway, uh, oh, he's just make like friends the with Romeo, so he can get into ICDC, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Is that still on a, a sco- I, I, on a scholarship, bitch? I thought okay. they were getting sued or stuff, but they had to pay back all this money because they were fraud. If he can't go to ICDC, yeah. he can go to that other school where they be like. You're sitting on the couch. You ain't doing number watching this Everest anyway. Institute. Get your ass up at every Institute. <laughs> Everest. Mm-hmm. Are you that tired of sitting at home like a bum bitch? 
See, no, I mean, uh, <laughs> have y'all heard of any stories similar to Lotto's as far as like women being tried in the studio or for features or anything like that? Going back to R. Kelly, I mean, and these are were up up and coming artists, alleged, you know, whatever. Um, but I mean, he's pressured girls into sex and and duck them music into never his cult. Out, you know what I'm so. saying? Their music never but came I mean, out, that's so still that's still a way, you know, of people using their power and influence mm. to yeah. to get sex out of people. So I mean, that does count. But as far as a mainstream artist, uh, I have to think on it. I don't. Nothing comes to mind right I now. Know, but it's, heard, you hear you hear a lot about like producers and stuff. I remember back in the day, especially with the video vixen and girls and shit like that. They're, they may oh. not have been artists. No, 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 no. I'm glad you said something. Scott Storch and Kesha. Mm. Wasn't that a situation? I think um, I remember hearing something. Yeah, she they, ended they up like, suing him. Scott Storch. Yeah. I his name in that in the round. Um, she sued time. him, and he tried to like stop her music, and she performed Pray or something like that. She performed a song called Pray or something like that to like vindicate herself and, you know, mm speak on her victory but i think it was a it was a long battle going on between kesha and scott storch and he used to put out the hits i don't know what happened to him or um he went broke other, man did he mm-hmm i mean but you're He's a big man so in the words of nini can't you just go in the studio and make some <laughs> <laughs> and he was all and he was all coked up he was all coked out and shit too uh, he Who fucked up his career who wasn't though? I think I heard a story some years ago. He was driving in Miami on ninety five, and these niggas started like shooting at him or something like that. So what was that? Him or Rick Ross? I forget. One of those two. But ain't nobody shooting at Rick Ross fat ass. Like uh uh-uh. uh, no, <laughs> we're not doing that. He's but um, like a melting I'm sure milk. I'm sure it's happened a lot. You know, that's probably why these women feel so pressured when they get their big advance to go get their bodies and their teeth done and you know, make sure they're so perfect because they want to be desired by these men who don't respect them anyway. Well, and this too, and, and, and I, wanted to say, I wanted to say this because some people will argue, well, these female rappers, all they talk about is their pussy this and their pussy that and exchanging money for sex and things of that nature. And it's almost the same thing when we have conversations about the Mm R-word. Just because a woman is wearing skimpy clothes or revealing clothes does not mean, does not give you the right, the authority, bitch, to touch her, Mm -hmm. to assume anything about her. So just because a woman is rapping about those things doesn't necessarily, act doesn't give you at all, my bad, at all the right, the authority, bitch, to put your hands on her, to even to accost her in such a way. Mm-hmm. Um, especially when these niggas talk about a lot of crazy ass shit in their lyrics. Yeah, you don't want people to assume something. You don't want to be called a thug. Like, look at Future. Take him for instance when he was going through that battle royale with Sierra Girl and all his other baby mothers, um, down to the courthouse about child support and all that kind of stuff. Royale. What did the judge uh, say? If you are what you're rapping about, because y'all claim this life, right? Mm-hmm. Then we're gonna assume this about you. What did his bitch ass get on the stand and have to say? I don't really do the things that I rap about. But because you do and you walk this lifestyle, right? People are going to assume these things about you. Yeah. You don't want that. Speaking of future, did you, um, either you get a chance to check out that Nicki Minaj and Joe Budden interview? Mm -hmm. She She spoke on that. She spoke on Yeah, she actually spoke on future and Mm -hmm. how he doesn't really do drugs. She told her that when I said that with her, she said it in the studio. He told her that in the studio and he just kind of laughed about it. But let me just say this before we move on. Because um, I remember, I don't know if y'all remember, but we were talking about um, Justin Skimpy and, you know, being welcoming. And I said something to the effect of, like, if you dress the part, don't be, you know, shocked when they come up to you. I in no way condone being sexually assaulted or anything like that. But what I mean is nobody in the history of life when they're flirting with somebody, having energy in the club, goes up to them and says, I give you consent to touch my body. You know, there's an unspoken energy between the two where you just kind of pick up. That's what I was saying. 
if you're giving but if off someone is plainly oh, go ahead i'm sorry my bad now what i was saying is if you're giving off the energy that you want to be you know playful with this person then don't be surprised when they're playful but well, i'm i'm thinking this is what you were going to say if somebody gives you a clear indication that they're not with it that's where the book stops like seriously right because energies Absolutely. work in all aspects. Like you can tell. Like I get what you say. You can, you know, die. You know what I'm saying? You can tell. Yeah. But you can also tell when it's like a no god moment. When yeah, read the room. Bitch ain't feeling you like that. Body language will tell you everything you need to know. Neither one of y'all have to open y'all's mouth. If she is tense and she's like, even if she's nervous and into it, confirm that she's with it. Yeah. If a woman is comfortable and she grew up with you harder than you grew up with her, you ain't got nothing to worry about. But you know, read the room. But I did want to comment on that, not only from my previous comments, but also to highlight that 99 times out of 10, it's not going to be spoken consent, you know? So we have to, you know, not set up the mirror. Child, this one of these right here. It's like, going to be that way. What's up? It could be, yeah, staring across the room, you know, brushing up, let me get past you. And yeah. child, you trying to get past me, like, all this room to get past me, but I feel your ones and twos on my threes and fours. No, ma'am. Hmm. <laughs> This lotto situation, hopefully, it, it shed some light on the music industry as a whole, and now women, preferably, will be more confident to step up and say something. And realize that if you don't get the feature because you don't put out, so fucking what? And Your I'm sorry, like, it's going to all, be. and I'm sorry to say this, but all of the niggas on that list could fucking never. Mm. Childish Gambino, yes. Not that weird bitch. He he's girl, he's gonna be weird. stepping on he's your pussy. Like, he is weird. Like, he's cute. He's, gonna be he's cute, but he's weird. He is <laughs> weird. Weird. He's I mean, even if not, even in the video, he was like doing his little day. I mean, it was weird. It was cute. He was doing the feminist stuff. Nobody thought he was gay. He just does weird. Sh he Have you ever seen that dancer? But he's cute though. He's cute. Yeah, I, I'll cute. sit down and talk to him, but he likes white women, though. You know, he's married oh, yeah. to a white woman. So, so are we already settled soon. that um, we think it's Kodak? He's yeah. the only ignorant bitch out of that whole bunch that I really do. Yeah, it's definitely him. And his rotted yeah. mouth and that horrible haircut, bitch. Maybe the same person that cut Kanye's hair cut his. Kanye cut his own hair because he's so a he fool, didn't. too. No, he did not. He paid somebody to put patches in his head. I said I was going to leave Kanye alone. You know, they say I'd be reading the retards, girl. Who said he was retarded? Oh, I was thinking that. <laughs> um, okay. Um, so, um, this was a great start to uh, this month. Because I don't know, well, y'all know, but I don't know if y'all know, but we're going to start highlighting music. So all this month, and maybe sometime in May, we'll be talking about men in music, women in music. And this was just the kind, you know, to kind of kick it off. Because this was something that is prevalent in the industry. And just because we can't think of people don't mean that it's not women out there getting handled this way just to get a feature or to get, you know, a... a a record cleared or something like that. I think um, on Love and Hip Hop Miami, didn't Jesse Boo go through something like that? Mm -hmm. Okay, let me just say this real quick. I would love to know how life would be if the shoe was on the other foot. So all you hood ass thug rappers out here in the world, let Saucy Santana and, and Lil Nas X proposition y'all. Before we clear this motherfucking record, bitch, you gotta get on your knees and give thanks. And bitch, it ain't even Thanksgiving. How, I mean, I, how would y'all like it if someone did that to y'all? I think it would make more sense to reverse it with women as opposed to men because these men are not gay. So, now, no, that's the effect though that I want. And that's how offensive it is. Yeah. How dare offensive. you, bitch? You feel yeah. me? Yeah. That makes a that makes a valid point because again, you you have reduced this woman's body to that of a song. Like, that's not even... That doesn't not even equate. Fuck her talent. Fuck what she's bringing to the, the table. Actually, she has her own table and chairs, bitch. Hello, God. And she's right. trying to help you out real quick. Because let's be honest here. Child, please. Big Lotto's on her way. Right. Huh. 
And the and, and she's a good one for still keeping him on the record because I would have deleted that motherfucking verse quick and threw in somebody else because I or mean, either I'm re recorded funny, and added girl, my own verse to that because she doesn't. A Kodak Black at all. feature does what for you? Who's oh, ranting and raving well, because Kodak have a Black pretty hot album though it recently released. I heard nothing about it. Absolutely he's he's nothing. been see, doing a very see, big press tour. And see, that's the thing. I don't fuck with him based off of his past ignorance and all that bullshit. So I don't even know anything about his album because yeah. I don't fuck with him. And that goes back to where I say, uh, where I said about canceling people. I don't fuck with him. So I don't listen to shit that he puts out or anything like that. It's that simple. Mm -hmm. But you know, YB, if you a Kodak fan, you know. No, I do like, get your life. Gonna lie. <laughs> I do listen to his music, but it's just like, mm. You know, he's just an ignorant bitch, child. He don't know no better. He had no respect for himself. Um, with that being said, we're gonna go ahead and bring it to the box. Yes, guys. As y'all know, every episode we bring something to the box, be it a TV show, a movie, a song, or a moment. All right. So I have to bring a moment, child. Um, you know me, I like to be really informative and also this ties into a shameless plug as well. So, in US News Child, um, a carcinogenic chemical, benazine, was found in hundreds of US personal care products, girl. Okay? An independent label found the chemical in more than a quarter of items it tested, sometimes at levels considered life-threatening, bitch. Now, Procter & Gamble, Bayer, CVS, Johnson & Johnson, just to name a few, um, they, they widely distribute brands such as Brutcher, Pantene, Herbal Essences, Old Spice, Secret, Tenectin, Lotrimin, Copperton, Coppertone or whatever, Neutrogena, and Aveeno. Arts Nat Art Naturals, Best Brands, and Natural Wonders are among the recalled hand sanitizer brands, girl. Okay. Oh. Um, Valor sure found benzene in the hand sanitizer, sunscreens, deodorants, dry shampoos, conditioners, antiperspirants, deodorants, body sprays, and antifungal treatments last year, bitch. The contamination has been found most frequently in aerosol or spray products, bitch, with some levels deemed life-threatening by the Food and Drug Administration, honey. So, let's make the switch to Tika Naturals, bitch. <laughs> All that being said, make the switch to Tika Naturals, bitch. Oh. <laughs> Period. Oh my God! Yes. When God. I tell you that, do you think that this is just happening? In order for this to be found, there's a lot of research and a lot of investigation before you bring these types of allegations to light, right? Just like with Johnson and Johnson, apparently one of the main reasons they were sued because their baby powders were giving the girls cancer drama. Child, um, they knew about it thirty years for thirty years. Damn. So, how long did all these people know it? These are long life yeah. brands that were mentioned in this article. Pantene, bitch, that was out before my mama was born. Herbal essences, bitch. Uh, uh, the little fucking commercials with a girl like she's masturbating in the shower for crying out loud. Yes. <laughs> Who else we got here? Oh, all, oh, all the uh, things. Baby, baby lotion. lotion. Baby lotion. Powder. Used to cause cancer, I heard. Yeah, the Johnson and Johnson. We spoke about them, so it's just like when, what? Yeah. Make your switch to natural companies. You it don't got to be just taking naturals, baby. Make your switch to natural. There's a lot of things you guys can search for on YouTube DIYs. There's a lot of black-owned small businesses out here that cater to natural skincare, honey. Let's make the switch. Stop letting these people kill you. Slowly, they are killing you. We literally probably could be living a hundred plus years if we were all natural yeah. period these people have been trying to fluoride all this shit it's it's designed to kill us off and what happens is i don't think people realize this when you start developing those types of ailments it becomes genetic so your offspring your offspring's offspring the generations that's why we have such a i hate to say this a filthy 
DNA bloodline right now? Why do we think we all getting sick? All these girls being born with three arms, child. You got these, you got these weirdos girls out here looking like Bambi and the girls honey, with horns and shit. No God, honey. The girls got skin issues. The girls out here got five legs, bitch. Moles, can't all born with cancer. Like you've never seen the, the generations of unhealthy ass babies being born. And it's due to not only the environment being a trash as it is, but also the trash that they're putting in our products that they say is healthy for us. I, I apologize. I went on a little rant there, but you know me. I got to stand up, honey, when the girls... No, it's fine. Like, we need to be educated on stuff like this. And I was going to chime in and say, like, finding a, um, a natural, you know, black-owned um, company should be relatively easy because they're everywhere, thank God. You know, a lot of people are stepping into the skincare business. But if you want to go um, mainstream, um, Ren Pure at Walmart is a really good line. They don't oh, have I've a lot of, of they don't have a lot. I put YB on to it. They don't have a lot of preservatives and, you know, ingredients. It's mostly, I think, if not all natural. And it smells wonderful. They have body washes. They have shampoos, conditioners, and lotions. So I know as far as like your body wash, you don't have to go to them. We got Seeker Naturals, we got a body bar for you. But as far as lotions, he has like a body oil. And if you don't want to really put an oil on your body, even though his oil does not clog the pores, if you don't want to put an oil on your body, you can go to Walmart and get a Ren Pure um, lotion. And they come in different scents. Like I said, natural scents. They have hemp in some of them. So it's a really, it's a really good brand. And cost that we be thinking that some of these brands are like I'm about to start buying natural toothpaste. I didn't realize they sold natural toothpaste at Walmart. Um, and small business owners, they you know, they be blessing the kids. I'm like, oh, I thought Walmart was ghetto. It is ghetto, but they're serving the, the community. And I'm like, damn, it's about the same price as what I pay for the crest charcoal. Mm -hmm. Maybe a dollar more, but give the like, kids something. I mean, what is it? I forget the name of the brand. I saw a couple of them. I just never really looked for it until you start looking for something and starting to yeah. notice. That's when it's, it, it appears to you, right? I yeah. noticed that in mm -hmm. life Absolutely. in a lot of different aspects. But I started, I was like, damn, I didn't know Walmart sold like all natural, you know, products like that. I'm here for mm -hmm. that. Um, certain things that I don't make in my own personal line of Tika Naturals, I I have to outsource to like everybody else, child, okay? Because I, yeah. I don't know how to make lotions and all that stuff without my body, but it's both. Yes, but God. you know, I like lotion because it's lighter. You know what I'm saying? Then I get the rim pure and all the natural stuff. Make the switch, do the research, look around. Y'all be thinking that it's expensive. Yes, certain things can be, but you'll be surprised how cheap the ingredients are to that you could probably make it yourself. Well, if you got the skills too, because if you don't know what you're doing, girl, don't fuck up. That is things. true. That don't, is, don't do it that. took me you know, a whole like two years to master my craft and I'm still mastering in the process. You never you're never done. <laughs> you're always forever learning because it's a game. Hello God. Oof child. It's a game. Yes. So um we encourage everyone if um if you can. Because everybody, I mean, even if it is cost effective, everybody just feels like they can't do it because I'm stuck with this one product. But if you can and you are willing. Try to make the switch over to as many natural skincare products as possible um, because you don't want to put all of those chemicals on your skin, especially over years and decades of time. Um, it, it was cute. You know, we all smelled lovely when we had that baby lotion on us when we were babies. But now it could do a lot of damage to our skin, especially given the fact that even though we shared skin, we're stuck with this body forever. So some of the damages that we've caused are going to stick with us, you know. And what I found out is that with natural products, like hand plug and Tika Naturals, some of that is reversible. But you won't get that with a generic, you know, Johnson & Johnson or, you know, even a Vaseline Cocoa Butter. Cocoa Butter is, it's cute, but I think in conjunction with oh. other products, you can really, um, Vaseline Cocoa Butter was the shit. And it had me get, given like well, a I'm just saying, nasty I, glow. I told y'all, I hate mm -hmm. the smell of Cocoa Butter. I cannot stand the smell of Cocoa Butter. I love it. It goes butter. back to childhood. Y'all remember those little cocoa butter sticks that your grandma used to put on you? Oh, yeah. Oh, you said that. The only thing I hated Passion. cocoa butter related was that Walmart big ass, or sometimes you can get it from the dollar store, that cocoa oh, butter lotion. It was so loose. It was like, watery what? as what? Yes! <laughs> I hated that. I hated that. But y'all keep it natural. Stay kitty. We love y'all. And um, we will see y'all next time. This just came to my mind. I don't know this to be fact, but this is a rumor that's going around. What about the inverse of 
using sexuality as power because I've heard in the streets that Megan Thee Stallion is out here fucking everybody. Next time on The Kitty Box. She's a wholesome girl and people always try to go up against the girls who speak up and speak out. I'll say Did that. you say wholesome? You got DJ Academics old, three chin having ass. But why are you gonna do all of this behind a bitch who look like Cicely Tyson? Like, I don't understand why you <laughs> pressing the issue so hard. But first of all, get those feet checked out because hopefully they don't look like they did when you was at the Met Gala, girl. Because them, them, hu them hubs. <laughs> <laughs>